Hey guys, welcome to the last nano vlog. I'm really like feeling myself today because I'll be honest, it's been a hot minute since I washed my hair and I'm the kind of person who washes my hair every day because OCD. I just can't not. Like I was not one of those people who could train my hair. I was not one of those people that could go multiple days without a shower. I shampoo my hair every single day. And so it's been like maybe two, three days. It's definitely been more than two. It's probably been like three days since I washed my hair and I washed my hair this morning and so I feel good. This is the last nano vlog. I think April ends on Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so we have five days left. And in those five days, to hit 50,000 words, I would have to write 5,000 words a day. I don't think that's going to happen. I haven't started writing today yet. It's almost three o'clock. I do have to edit a vlog to get that out because I'm late for the vlog as usual. I had some schoolwork to do, which I have done now. And I also have a couple of other things on my to-do list, but writing is definitely up there. I also want to talk quickly right now while I have you set up about how I'm finding myself struggling with the whole idea of fast drafting. That was my goal going into NaNo is that I was going to finish this story by the end of NaNoWriMo and I was going to finish it hopefully between 40 to 60,000 words. Now I'm at 25,000 words and I am close to the middle of the story. However, it's gotten really hard for me to keep getting those words. Every time I do a sprint, my word count is getting lower and lower because I'm starting to obsess over those words the way I normally do and that's not what I wanted to do for Nano. That was not my goal. So I don't know how to fix that but that's something that I'm going to be focusing on moving forward and I'm going to try, I'm going to try really hard to move past spots of difficulty. If it's not sounding right or I feel like I've been repeating the same word throughout the paragraph or I don't know how to connect ideas, then put in a space holder sentence that maybe I don't like so much but does the job and move on. And I haven't been doing that in the last week. So this remaining five days of April, that is our goal to keep up with the spirit of fast drafting. I'm gonna eat a little snack because I didn't really have lunch and then I'm going to edit that video and then I'm going to write. So I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so um, it's pretty late at night, it's like 10.30 and I just wanted to update you on how the writing has been going tonight. I have written a good amount actually. Um, it, I have written 1,371 words and I'm hoping to break that 2,000 mark by tonight, but I also finished Betty's scene in chapter 13, which is when she's like, hey, what are we? And Finn says he wants to be with her, but he can't be boyfriend and girlfriend because he doesn't have his life together and he doesn't know how to express that in a way that Betty can take in. And so Betty's like, I need time space I need to think about it and so the next scene is Finn's scene and he goes to the Dodd Center and he's like hey Hugh and he was like hey only come on Tuesdays because I want Betty to come on Thursdays and he talks to Finn about how like Betty's a forever kind of girl and Finn really misses her and then we get Betty's scene with her professor and I just finished that as well in the next chapter, so that's chapter 14, and her professor is just like, you need to embrace the stars, the stars see everything, they, they know you. So what does that mean to you, right? Something that makes you feel something, and it really touches Betty. And so I think I've gotten better at this like fast drafting thing, because I'm kind of just getting to the point 
of what's going on. Like Finn's scene with the dad center and Betty's scene with her professor are both under 500 words, which I'm not saying every scene is going to be that short, but like that's all I needed there right now. And when I build up the story and build up other plot lines and threads that need talking about, then those scenes will bulk up, but that's not the purpose of this first draft. So, okay, I'm gonna go get ready for bed, take my makeup off, brush my teeth and all that jazz, and then I will be back um, doing a little bit more writing before bed and hopefully breaking that 200 or that 2000 mark. Okay, I'll see you then. Hey guys, it is Wednesday morning and I've decided to go big or go home. <laughs> So I'm gonna try for 10K today. I've already done two 20 minute sprints. It's only 8.55, it's not even nine o'clock in the morning and I've already written 1,535 words. So I kind of have a little bit, I have an average that's a little bit over 700 words for 20 minutes, which if you divide 10K by 700, you get a little over 14, so a little over 14 20 minute sprints. That doesn't seem too bad, honestly, considering I've already done two. My total manuscript is over 30,000 words. It's 30,019 words. And I have finished chapter... So let's see where we're at, okay? So then Finn has a scene with his parents and his brother. His parents, like, show up randomly and want to have lunch with him and his brother. And his mom is pressing him. And Finn's like, hey, yeah, I was in the military. I came back and I was injured. You helped me get better. I've seen therapists. I've seen doctors. I'm in school and I'm doing good. So you walking around like I'm going to break is not helpful. But he doesn't even get all of that out because Betty calls him and he's like, I got to go. So that's the end of chapter 14. So chapter 15 is what we're on now. And I finished Betty's scene and Betty calls him, meets up with him and is like, hey, I want to get to know you better. I want you to get to know me better. I want us to keep talking to each other and seeing each other and dating. And if, like, we decide we want to be together further, then I would like us to be something more than dating. And Finn's like, sounds good to me. And he invites her over to his place because she's never seen his place. And he doesn't want to go away from her. So that's where we're at. And now we're going to be in Finn's scene. Finn watches a movie with Betty. She does work on his bed. And um, he likes her. So I did want to share that I was writing in my journal yesterday. I did write yesterday, by the way. I just didn't film it. I didn't write as much as I wanted to. Let's see. How many words did I write yesterday? Yesterday I wrote, oh, really not a lot. 226 words. Um but I did write, so, you know, figured I'd share that. I was writing in my journal about this story and how I feel like um, the pacing is off and that there should be more dates in the beginning, which, like, I'm okay with their romance going faster because I always thought it would because, like, I have ideas for other romances, but for Betty and Finn, they are young even though Finn is older than most college students they've never been in relationships before they've never really felt like that about anybody before so yeah they're going a little bit faster than people normally would because they decided that they don't care and I'm trying to make that really clear however I do think going back in in other drafts if I end up doing it I will add more dates to the beginning and kind of like front load their relationship more than than how it is now because they kind of get together and then there's a lot of stuff that they go through together whereas I would rather have them go through more stuff to get together if that makes sense anyway yeah, that's where we're at. We're on chapter 15, and there's 27 chapters in this manuscript. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited. If I can do, if I can pull off 10K today, even if I can get to, like, 40,000 in the total manuscript, then that's 5,000 words for Thursday and 5,000 words for Friday. And I'm not saying that I can do that because I don't want to have to come on here and tell you that I fail, but I really hope I can because, like, yeah, why not? I don't know.
I'm excited. I feel excited about the story. I feel rejuvenated that Nano is ending. That sounds horrible, but like, I'm ready for it to end. I'm ready to go back to my Vikings. I think that that's, wow. <laughs> I think that this break was really awesome for me. I think that writing something different was really good for me and helpful for me. And I miss my Vikings. I miss my stories. I was in the middle of rewriting Valor when I did NaNoWriMo for this project. And I love Betty and Finn. And I love college and writing about college and professors and classes and not knowing what you want to do. Like, that is such a huge part of me. I've thought about being a college advisor. I love talking about college. I love talking to people about what they're passionate about and what they want to do with their future. But like, I love my Vikings too. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> it's still Thursday. Wednesday. Friday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a good day. I made my bed already <clears throat> and my desk cleared off. Ready for writing. I also got like I have real clothes on. Socks and everything. Oh. I'll be honest, I am not guaranteeing how long the jeans are gonna last. But they're on right now. <laughs> so that's a victory. The light is literally so gorgeous in this room because there's sun outside and like, oh my God, we're so lucky to have sun outside. Um, <clears throat> okay, so here we go. 10K day. <laughs> Let's do this thing. I, it's almost 10 o'clock right now. I have to go switch the laundry at 10. But what I'm hoping for is that by noon, I will have done three more 20 minute sprints and that I will be past 3,000 words. Um, that's the goal. Then by six o'clock, which is when I have dinner with my dad every Wednesday, I'm hoping to be past 7,000 words. So I'll have 3,000 words to do when I come home from dinner. I think that that is doable. I think. <laughs> um, there are some other things on my to-do list for today, but we're not going to worry about those yet. We're just worrying about the 10k day. And I feel like once I get at least 3,000 under my belt, um, I'll feel better about doing other things. So... We're going to change laundry and do a writing sprint. Hey guys, I just finished a 20 minute sprint and I got 921 words. I did write a little over 20 minutes, but whatever. Um, that brings our total up today to 2,456. So we're almost a quarter of the way through the 10K and it's like 1030, which is pretty awesome. Um, I am going to take a break because I started something and I shouldn't have started it because I know it's going to take me a little bit, but I have to do this like... Um, so I'm going to get it done uh, as quickly as I can, preferably. Fourth 20 minute sprint of the day done. I got 721 words and we're at a total of 3,177 words for today. So I hit my 3,000 mark. It's 11.53. So I hit my 3,000 mark before noon, which is what I wanted to do. And I'm on chapter 16, so chapter 15, Betty calls him and she's like, hey, can you meet me? And she says, you know, I like you. I want to be with you, even if you don't want to define anything right now. And he says, cool. And then the next scene is Finn's scene and they're in his room. And he's thinking, Betty's sleeping, and he's thinking about, like, how he doesn't actually know her that well, but he does like her, and he wants to get to know her, and about how he's, like, defying his parents by being with her. So, <laughs> now I'm on chapter 16, and they just went to eat at the Union, um late at night it's almost midnight and then they're gonna go stargazing and that scene's at 964 words right now and i think it'll probably be 
couple hundred more. Um, I'll definitely finish it in the next sprint. And then we're moving on to Finn's scene where he talks to his mom on the phone and then asks Betty to help him kind of figure out like what he wants to do, the whole history thing. And like, I don't know if I explained that to you, but Finn is a math major. He loves numbers, but he's taking this history class and he really likes the professor and he thinks the professor is really interesting. And then he reads this document for class that's like a lot of numbers, which a lot of the documents we have from, it's a medieval class because that's what I do. Um, a lot of the documents we have are number based because it, it'll be like records of who paid how much for taxes or who owns X, Y, and Z land, how much they paid for it. So he read one of those documents and like, he's kind of obsessed with it. He really wants to work with those numbers. Um, and he's been thinking about it and Hugh read his paper and said that his paper was really good. So he's going to be like, Betty, Hey, I know you said that there are different types of history and different things people can focus on in history. Well, I really like this. So is there something I can do with it? I need to go get the laundry. I finished my program for school while I was doing that last sprint. I'm multitasking a little bit. Um, I'm going to go get the laundry, pull the laundry, and then I would like to take a bath to read. I'm reading... A Winter's Promise, because TikTok made me do it. Um, I'm like 90 pages in, so not very far considering it's a big book, but it's actually really good so far. I actually really like the main character and the concept of the story is that like when you touch things, you can tell their history and she's really good at it. Ophelia is the main character. She's really good at it and she's getting married to this guy who doesn't live where she lives and she's gonna have to move. Um, yeah, so I really am enjoying it so far and I want to be able to take a break to read that, but I would like to get to 5,000 words before I take that break. So I'm going to fold the laundry and then <laughs> do another sprint and then maybe after that sprint, like take a walk or something, get some air. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I will do, maybe I'll do two 25 minute sprints. Hopefully I get a little bit higher word count because right now I need what, like 18, I'll, I need like 1800 words to hit 5,000. So maybe I'll do two 25 minute sprints. Hopefully that'll get me, you know, up there. Then I, in the middle of those, I will film my inspiration video for this week the last one so I will film my pep talk in between then do the last sprint and then get to read a little bit as my reward First longer sprint is done. I got 910 words. I will admit I was a little distracted during this one. Um, but the total for today is up to 4,087 words. So we are crushing it. It's one o'clock right now. I need to go get a load of laundry, fold that, and then I'm going to actually do my Bible study instead of film the video because my family is leaving soon. So once they leave, I will film the video and it'll be a lot quieter. And just easier in general guys it's happening we're hitting a wall <laughs> i'm getting tired we're gonna do another writing sprint 25 minutes try to get to 5,000, and then i'm taking a significant break i'm gonna go take a bath read my book film a video do other things because i need a break then I'll only have 2,000 words left to write before dinner. It's 2 o'clock now, which gives me 4 hours to write 3,000 words. And I think that that's plenty of time. I think I can do it. So let's just get to that 5,000 mark. And um, my brain is mush, but we hit 5,000 and 7 words. Woo. 
Oh my god, I'm so tired. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath, and then we'll write more. And look at this. So I'm on the second scene of chapter 17, that scene that's Betty's I already finished, but like, look at it all. Look at how far I am along. I'm so proud of myself. Hey guys, um, I just quit yesterday uh, after a little over 5,000 words. I ended up not feeling so good. I kind of passed out pretty early and then I slept in, which I never ever sleep in. Like I don't, I'm up by seven latest. So I slept in until nine. Like my sister said, she's starting to get worried about me. Um, but I'm okay, I'm here. It is almost six o'clock. I have a thing for my school program. This is what I'm wearing. Um, it's like a Zoom thing. So I've got like my shirt. It's kind of grinding down because I'm sitting here doing work on my bed. But my shirt and my sweater, I think I look okay. You guys are at a weird angle because we're working with what we got. I'm going to take this clip out of my hair when I have the meeting too. So yeah, basically all you see is my hair anyway. I don't know why I pick a nice shirt. Whatever. Um, I thought I only had 15,000 words to write to win Nano. I have over... 15,000 words. <sighs> I really want this win. I don't know that it's going to happen, but I do really want it. I don't know that it's going to happen. Yeah. I'm going to write tonight after my meeting. It goes until 7.30. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys because... I felt like talking to you guys. I'm so nervous. I don't know if you can tell. I'm like, I'm so nervous. I hate talking to adults. That may seem weird. I just don't enjoy it. Like, I love kids. I love teaching kids. I love working with kids. I love helping, like, peers and stuff. But talking to somebody in a place of authority, I'm just so nervous because I want to be respectful and I want to be prepared. I don't like feeling unprepared for things. So, yeah, I think that it's going to end up being like a lot of them talking and us listening, but I don't really know. So I'm sitting here getting um, more and more nervous about it. I'm working on my Praxis work. If anyone's curious, if anyone's taking the Praxis, I have this book. I can't tell you if it's good or not yet. And I'm going through each section and I read through the entire section and I make my flashcards, I make the front of my flashcards, and then I go through it again and I fill them out. So I'm reading the material twice just to make the flashcards, and then my flashcards are very, like, they're pretty thorough. I like to include a lot of information on them. So hopefully um, that's all, like, being absorbed. For me, that's, that's part of the learning process. I'm always making flashcards or mind maps or things like that. So that's how I've been studying. Um, in this kind of first leg of studying. Once I take a practice test, that'll kind of guide me into my second phase of studying and what areas I'm weakest. Uh, there's a lot of review for me because unfortunately my area of expertise is not something that's widely covered on the Praxis exam. I am a medievalist and it's kind of just lumped into world history, like maybe one question about it. So yeah, it's definitely not the focus. So a lot of this is review for me from classes that I've taken. I've definitely learned all of it, but it's not what I spent my time at university focusing on. So yeah, I'm sorry I'm talking so much. I'm so nervous. Like I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's going to be fine. It's an hour and a half. I can survive anything for an hour and a half. Hey guys, it is crazy, crazy, crazy windy here on Friday, the last day of NaNoWriMo, last day of this vlog, the last day, it's the last day, <laughs> it's almost noon, I have 11 minutes until it's noon, which means I have to get my butt in gear because I have to write 500 more words or four, 440, um, because my goal for today is to get around 1,500 words an hour until six o'clock and I'm at 4,060 words so far. My total project is still under 40,000, which means there's so many words left to write, but 
I'm doing pretty good. I'm on chapter 21 out of 27 and I'm just going to power through it and then maybe tomorrow I'll do like a wrap up sort of deal where I tell you what happened at the end of my story but I don't think that's going to happen today because I have other things I have to get done today besides just this project. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, let's take a peek at our stats here. We are on chapter 22 of 27. We have, we have 40,371 words in this project and 5,142 words for today. And it is 12.15. I have gotten out of bed, in my defense. I just keep getting back into bed. But I am going to take a break right now. Um, the story is really rolling. I'm excited for the end. My goal for today is either to make it to the 50,000 word mark or to finish the story. So we have six chapters left. We're on chapter 22, 27 chapters. So whichever comes first, the 50,000 or finishing the story, um, I think if I get to the 50,000, that's going to be over 12,000 words today. And that even if I don't finish the story, even though I want to finish the story, there's going to be no writing left in me. <laughs> so I'll have to finish the next day um and I don't really like I'm taking it step by step going through the chapters step by step so I don't really know what the next six chapters hold so I don't know if I like I can't guess if I'm going to hit the 50,000 and need more words or if I'll be good before the 50,000 but I'm really enjoying it I put in a lot of stuff that I didn't remember putting in and so as I go through the chapters it's like relearning the story that I already plotted out over a month ago. So I'm going to take a bath and finish A Winter's Promise. Um, it's really good. I really enjoy this. I didn't know it was a translated book when I started it, but it's translated from French, which is really cool. Um, I have like 100 pages left, so I'm hoping to finish it in the bath. Then we're going to get back to writing. Hey guys, what's up? This is the end of NaNoWriMo. <laughs> it's actually a couple days past the end of NaNoWriMo. It is May 4th, I think, 5th or 4th. Please ignore the changing lighting in the room. I tried to film this yesterday. I couldn't because the weather has just been gray and gloomy and rainy and thunderstormy. So we are working with what we got. But I wanted to talk to you guys about how my nano ended up going. First of all, I read all of these books. I also read six books on my Kindle. So quickly, I really like this one. This is a reread. This is a reread. Loved this. Highly, highly recommend this. This is great. <sighs> Love this too. Middle grade. Adorable. TikTok made me do it. Wasn't my thing. Very moving, but very good. Eh. It was interesting. Kept my attention, sort of, but I didn't love it. Loved it. It was great. And for the ebooks that I read, I read Stay uh, by, Ken by L. Kennedy and Sabrina Bowen, I think. It's a hockey romance. It was great, as all hockey romances are. I also read Baby for the Mountain Man by KC Crown. Short, great for what it was. I, I love romances that include a baby. My guilty pleasure, so loved it. I read Pretty Reckless by LJ Shen. I heard that we are not doing LJ Shen anymore, but I did read that this month. Um, it was all right didn't have any deep feelings about it I guess I read the third best thing and the fourth time charm by Maya Hughes in her I think it's Fulton you yeah Fulton you series there's four of them very similar to L Kennedy's stories except for these are football boys instead of hockey boys if you love L Kennedy definitely check out Maya Hughes if you haven't checked out L Kennedy or Maya Hughes and you have any interest in college romance please check them out. They are great. And I also read Playing With Fire by LJ Shen. Again, before I knew she was finally. 
we get to my NaNoWriMo stats. In the month of April, I wrote 41,023 words. Okay. <laughs> and I finished 22 chapters of my book. My book is 27 chapters long, so I still have five left, but I'm I'm really happy with that. We're going to look at my writing history uh, for April. And my lowest word count was obviously zero words. My highest word count was 5,794 words. I had two over 5,000 word days, one 4,977 word day, one, two, three, three days over 3,000, and one, two, three, four days over 2,000. So overall, not, not bad really not bad. Of a month that had 30 days in it, I only wrote 17 days. So in 17 days, I wrote 41,000 words. I'm not angry about that. Yes, I wanted to finish this story and I didn't. That's totally cool. I am going to be finishing it in May and I will talk about that in a later video. So don't worry, it's gonna get finished. It is my third book. And I think I have realized that I don't do happy well. <laughs> um, most of my stories are pretty dark. They're pretty sad. They have a lot of uh, death and grieving and mourning and a lot of like chaotic dark thoughts in them. And turns out that I really enjoy writing that. Um, I don't know what that says about me, but that's the case. It was hard for me to write this fluffy contemporary, which I thought it was going to be a good break for me, but it was difficult. There were definitely times where like I had to push myself to continue writing and to get to my writing because I just wasn't feeling it. However, my goal was to fast draft this story and I still feel like I can say I successfully did that even though it's going to take me over the month. I definitely shortened some scenes that before I would have gone more into depth in and not necessarily in a good way because I had a tendency to ramble if I didn't know exactly how it was going to happen and that's not necessary in the first draft because who knows if that scene's even going to make it to a second or third draft. I don't need to spend hours on it making it perfect or exploring all of the options that I have if it's not a super important scene and I can just put in the bare bones and move on. So I'm really happy with how this experiment went and I'm hoping to keep that uh, fast drafting spirit alive moving forward in other works that I do. So yeah, that's the end of my nano. How did you guys do? Did you finish your book? Did you hit 50,000? Were you not drafting at all and doing outlining or editing? Please let me know in the comments down below. I want to hear how your month went. And did you read some really good books? Have you read any of these? If I had to pick my favorites of the month, it'd be these two. So have you read Lore? Have you read A Winter's Promise? Do you have any interest in either of them? If you know anything about them, let me know. <sighs> I had such a fun time vlogging with you guys. I really did. So I'm sad to see this month end, but ready to move forward into new writing, new stories. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and my vlogs. If you like what you saw and you want to see more writing and reading content from me, please hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you guys here. That's all for NaNoWriMo this month. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.